Hi all, it's Dr. Dan again. The last video on SolidWorks we got this far, but one thing I also like to do is make things a little bit smoother if I can. So this is where things start to get tricky uh, and where it may and may not work in SolidWorks. But we're gonna try to fill at the edges to see if we can get um, just some smoother transitions that are frankly more realistic. So if I go to Insert Surface, Fill It Around, I can select that, okay and you select your radius of fillet. 10 millimeters is obviously way too big. I'll try one millimeter. And I will tell you, you should have preview selected. Um, sometimes it defaults to no preview. And if you can't see the preview, it's gonna give you an error and says, I can't fillet it. So one, I don't know, one millimeter looks pretty good. I could maybe make it bigger if I really, you know, I wanted to play around with it a little bit uh, to make it a nice smooth transition, I could do that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this edge here. Insert surface. Where is it? Fill it. So I will tell you that this is behaving very nice for me. Some of the other more interesting geometries I have are sometimes harder to fill it and sometimes you can't do it at all. So I'll keep it at two millimeters too. Okay, and maybe the one other place would be nice to fill it will be around here. We'll see if we can do this. Yeah, and see, it's telling me laminar edges can't be filleted. So some things do and some things don't work. Um, I'm pretty happy that we got those surfaces smoothed out a little bit at least. So we'll stick with that. And the last thing you want to do is make sure everything is all one piece. Um, and to do that, we can use the surface knit feature. So insert surface knit. And so I basically select all these individual pieces. It will knit everything together for me to make sure it's one single surface now. Now we have a surface that's pretty much ready for flow sim. Like I told you before, you can't run flow simulation on a surface. It has to be on a solid body. So we can take this surface and we can turn it into a solid body by, um, by thickening it. Unfortunately, the thicken is not in any of these menus. You have to go to insert boss thicken. Okay. And it says, what do you want to thicken? I want to thicken that whole knit surface. Um, what parameters are we using? And we don't want to do one 10 millimeters. Maybe we'll look at one one millimeter thickness. I noticed that it's thickening on the inside, which is not what I want because I defined the interior of the vessel the size I want. So you, this is means thicken one side. This means thicken both sides. This means thicken the other side. And so there we go. We want to thicken the outside so that our interior dimensions remain true to what we expect. And so it looks like it's going to work. Um, I'll be honest, a lot of times it doesn't work and it complains, could not thicken surface and you don't have any other reason. I think the best solution is to get this smaller. I'm, sometimes I've had to go down to like 0.01 millimeters and then it works for no reason. Other times I have to start messing with things and figuring out where there's problems. So I'm going to try to thicken this here. Yes, yeah, perfect. Unable to thicken surface and we're not sure why. So I'm going to try making it just smaller. Okay, it's still unable to thicken surface. So one thing we could do is under tools, there's evaluate. Oops, I'm still on thicken, so it didn't give me the option here. Tools, evaluate, check. And so I'm going to basically click all these and do a check on what's going on. Okay, so it's telling me there are no invalid surface fed that's found. One open surface found. It's obvious because we have holes. Yes, it's open. But maybe we can look at the radius of curvature. Okay, that's pretty That's pretty big. That should be okay. Um, and so it says there's a gap there, a really small gap. Okay, the surface opening. So it finds these gaps um, where I did this cut. And this is where you have a couple things going on. One, it could be that I didn't do a good job the way I lofted. And so maybe I should have done the other way of lofting that I showed you the first time. Okay. 
um, but maybe we can also fix it when we do our knit. So I'm actually going to go back to knit, edit the knit features. So it doesn't, usually it lists gaps if you're there. I'm going to try to merge entities. And now we'll try to thicken this. Again, I'll just try the thinnest. That's fantastic. So it wasn't the knitting or the merge entities or anything. So I'm going to have to look around a little bit and try to figure out what's what's happening. As I'm figuring out what's going on here, I noticed that, you know, when we did our fillet, like, okay, it kind of just hits that edge right there. So that's probably not the best thing in the world. And the same thing's happening right here as well. So you know what? I am maybe if I decrease the radius of the fillet, that will help us out a little bit. And that that might be the cause of our gap width thing. So, you know, you could just instead of doing this, I can roll back to fillet one, edit feature. Instead of doing one millimeter or two millimeters, I'll try one. Okay, that's much smaller. Uh let's see if I can get one point five in there. No, it's probably too close. 1.4. Okay, so now it's not touching that line. Okay, I'm going to go down to this one. Fill it two. Again, I don't, I don't want it. I think that may be causing the issue. So I'll edit. Fill it two. So I can't even use the same there. Let's go one millimeter. Okay, so I think that might be causing my problem, that fillet. So I don't want to cause that problem. Let's zoom in good. Okay, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to try 1.4 millimeters. Okay, now it doesn't look as pretty maybe, but it should still work. It still smooths things out a little bit. Go back to the surface knit. I'm going to make sure I get the features right. Yes. Okay, usually if I have gap problems, they show up in here, but it looks like everything's going to work okay. I'll hit check. Let's see if the surface thicken uh, does anything for me. Okay, I want to make sure I'm doing the right side, the outside. Again, I'll put 0.5 millimeters to start. It's usually enough. There we go. So it was. That's exactly what it was. And I'm kind of glad that I ran into just a random error because that's, I mean, that's the that's life, right? That is working with SolidWorks. You just have to kind of figure out things that are going on and try to see if you can uh, tell from the information. Again, that check tool kind of pointed out that there were some gap issues around there. Um, and it really took, so I tried to modify the surface parameters. It didn't work. And then I kind of had to zoom in to figure out that the fillets were, because the fillets intersected the, that edge, that's what was causing the problem. And so now that I've fixed it, we can get ready to run flow simulation. And so I'll stop there, um, with this video. You can see we have our beautiful blood vessel ready for flow sim. And that will be what we pick up with next videos.